All right, real quick, we're going to flash this uh, Cummins ECU here. This is for 2012 Dodge Ram 67. Um, customer has sent it in. They said that it has a tune on it, but they've put the truck back to stock. Uh, so they want me to flash a stock file back to it. Now, they took this to the Dodge dealership, and Dodge told them they couldn't do anything with it for some reason. Uh, they said it already had the latest updates, and they were not able to flash it again, which, you know, I I don't really agree with. Uh, when you tune ECU, sometimes you'll keep the original IDs, but the actual programming is different. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what's going on with this one. Um. Well, I'm not real sure why they just didn't flash over top of it anyway, to be sure. Um, may maybe they're not capable anymore. I don't know. Um, they, they all use WeTech. I'm not going to use WeTech. I'm going to use uh, just a regular J2534 uh, car deck and the uh, Chrysler Legacy tool. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is a 2012. The Legacy tool is only supposed to be for up to 2009, but that's not accurate. You can actually use the Legacy tool. Uh, if you have the files for it, you can use it on up a as far as I know. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is make our connections. And I have the pin out here. This is uh, labeled under 2010, but it's the same one. It's the black and gray connector. So let's go ahead and hook this up. Let me make this smaller so we can see what I'm doing here. And I will I will zoom this in. Don't worry. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, now you can see it good. All right, so let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need battery on five and we need ground on six. All right? We need battery on five, ground on six. So we have those. Uh, right now, I'm pulling. Uh, the only current I'm pulling on my power supply, because I have the power on, the uh, only current I'm pulling right now is for my Autel device. And I need to hook up the ignition. Now, when I do the ignition, we should see, I think, about 400 milliamps, something like that. But uh, So our ignition circuit is 70 and 71. And this is a 76 pin connector. I think they're probably both the same. I don't think we need to hook up both. Let me see. So 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, and 70. No, nope. they're not. 76, 75, 74, 79, 72, 71. Huh, they are different. So I will hook up both then. I was assuming being this close together, they would have been internally connected. I'm kind of surprised at that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on. I want to see the current consumption if it goes up. So it did. Uh, it's pulsing right now. So 320, give or take. And now we just need our data lines. So our data is 18 and 13. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 18 and 35. So let's do green for plus. And this one is 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. And this other one is 18. So we have 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, right below it. 
that is pretty standard. Usually can lines will always be right on top of each other or right beside each other. And then I'm going to put this into my OBD little plug here. Now I uh, usually just leave a 120 ohm resistor there, but I'm pretty sure this one doesn't need it. If you're using the Altel, I think it, you know, in the ECU is already internally, uh, it's got the CAN terminations internal to it. Uh, but right now we're hooked up, so we should be able to connect with our Altel. And I'm going to do manual selection. You might could do auto, but I just, I always prefer manual. Sometimes auto doesn't work. Like if there's no VIN present or the programming's messed up, stuff like that. It's just, okay, so it's a 2012. Um, I don't particularly think it matters if you do the 25 or the 35, but this is a 35. I'm not sure if it's a D2 or D1. Let's just go DD. I'm not quite sure what the difference is there. I don't like I said I don't I don't think it really matters for this so right now we're just we're getting the ID so that we can use it so there's our VIN number I'm gonna confirm that is the right VIN number one nine seven seven it is I'm gonna go to diagnosis control unit powertrain and then the ECM all right let's go to ECU information. Uh, I'm going to write it here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 3, 3, 0, A, N. That is our calibration ID. Now this is set up for Canada. Um, this truck is from Washington, so I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. They didn't mention that, and they might be able to fix that themselves if they want. But uh, we have enough from our Autel now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off of the display here. I'm going to also take, um, actually, let me just go here. So this is my Chrysler file folder. Uh, it's got the different ones. Uh, let's go to the DD. Let's see if it's in this one. So it might not be a DD. So it's one, two, three, five. It is not. So let's go back one. Let's go into uh, the D2. So this is going to be a D2, I bet. 1235, 1330, 1235, 1330, AK. I'm missing, I'm missing a file here. But this is an update to the, the N, isn't it? Let's, let's see. There it is. So let's type in, uh, this is Chrysler's ID list and calibrations for their ECU. So we're gonna go here and look for our calibration. One, two, three, five, one, three, three, zero, AM. So AM is the most recent. Why do I have AN? I don't see an AN, that's weird. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I don't have that on here. I guess it's new and they don't have it. I just, this is the AM, was before the AN. But I don't have that one. We have an older one, and I'm going to put this one on there anyway. Okay, so let's take these, and we're going to copy these over. And this is missing one of the files. So we're going to have to figure out how to uh, make that happen. And I think we can come back here, maybe use one from here. 
not from there. Let's go try DH. Nope. Let's try 2007. Okay. Let's take this and see if this is going to work. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's see if that will work. I don't know if that's going to work. And we're going to open this. We're going to load our... I guess I can make this bigger so you can see what I was doing. I'm going to load up my car deck. My car deck is messed up. Every time I use it, I have to uh, have to reflash it. And it used to do it itself, but these days it doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna unhook my auto now, and I'm gonna connect the car deck to my uh, fake OBD port there. Make sure I can get that connected. And let's see what happens. Let's see if that file that I put there works. Um, one more thing that we have to edit this. We have to add our part number one, two, three, five, one, three, three, zero, A, and we have to add that there. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, so it seems like it's working. Um, it's asking me if I want to update the CM2200 with this new part number. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Man, I wonder why I don't have the new one. I wonder why I don't even have AM. I'm surprised. They must have, uh, you know, recently updated from... 2 a.m. and then now finally to a.n. But uh, it looks like it's flashing good. So it's going to take a little while. Um, I'm going to pause this, let it do its thing, and then we will revisit it with the Altel to make sure that it did indeed update. All right, we are back here after everything is done. As you can see, it went through all the erasing, all the checksum checking. And we have a message here that says uh, process was successful. So we're going to go ahead and exit that. I'll go ahead and exit this. All of this, we can go ahead and cut that off too. Um, so now the last thing, we're just going to verify with our Autel. So I have to unhook my car deck and plug in my Autel. We're going to give it a second to reconnect. Now this is the old information. Okay, so I'm going to back out and I'm going to reconnect. And we should see this chain. All right, so we are connected now. I'm going to back out. I'm going to back out one more. I am going to reconnect to the ECU and then we're going to check the ECU information. And there we go. Our new software ID is 12351330AK. So uh, that's, that's done. That is back to stock. I'm just going to erase the codes. When you connect it on the bench like this, you store a lot of code. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just erase them all. I'm going to turn the ignition off, unhook it, and uh, this job's done. That's all I had to do with it. So uh, pretty straightforward.